So as you said, uh, you said you had built something within the IIT uh, campus uh, as a prove uh, something to prove something. What exactly was that? Yeah, actually, a couple of my colleagues from the civil engineering department, Professor Devdas Menon and Professor Mahesh Prasad, uh, they were involved in uh, research on gypsum uh, panels. Basically, these are glass fiber reinforced gypsum panels, and uh, they've been used in several places around the world. Okay, but, what is uh, gypsum? Gypsum is another building material uh, which is basically it a catch mined out of the earth. Uh, some gypsum can be obtained directly from natural sources. Some you can, of course, uh, when we make those uh, small scale models using plaster of Paris. Okay. When we mix water with it, it transforms to gypsum. Oh. I so see. essentially, that's what uh, we are looking at. So now, those gypsum panels uh, are often used as partitions in uh, offices and in uh, different sorts and of. And they can buildings. take a nail through it. Yeah, you can. It doesn't make, crack. It, break. it doesn't crack. No. 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 Okay. It's it's a, gypsum is a softer material as compared to regular. Or cementitious uh, okay. concrete. So here, uh, these are glass fiber reinforced gypsum panels, which are much lighter in weight, easier to handle, prefabricated, and but then assembled. Does it add to site. the cost than normal? Uh, well, panels? actually, if you look at the overall cost in terms of material, the time for construction, and so on and so forth, uh, there are definite economies in this new sort oh. of. Uh, so there's full justification for using yes. it. Yes, exactly. You will save. Exactly. So this entire building, was, uh, which was a, a two-story building, uh, ground plus one, was built up in a period of 30 days, including wow. foundation and assembling all the components, providing did you, exterior finishes. Did you capture finishes. it on, uh, on video? Is it, is it available for us to see it's on available, YouTube? Yes, yes. I, Maybe? Think, I think a copy is available on, on YouTube also. We uh, actually see a building coming up in front yeah, of your eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and, so it's been built. And how yes. long ago was that? Uh, this was, uh, I think, Almost a year. It's probably completed a year now. It was inaugurated a year so ago. So you get a lot of people trooping through it? Yeah. Uh, pro uh, it's it's like a demonstration piece. And yes. uh, we've had a lot of uh, 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 inquiries from uh, residential customers as well as infrastructure customers. Ah, that would be the interesting part. Yeah. So is, has it been adopted anywhere by any builders in the city? We are still working out certain design aspects to make it uh, applicable for multi-storied construction. So it's soon... So uh, it, can it be like... Um, made right there in situ in place i make them uh, panel i make it i no or is that has to come from somewhere no, the panels have to be made in a factory environment because okay. uh, so it's not uh, good for somebody who's just building a one off no, house no probably not no it has to be uh, mass housing. Yeah, it has to be prefabricated. A tsunami nagar would uh, benefit from that. <laughs> certainly, certainly. Something like a tsunami construction or something could definitely benefit from these. Uh, you need to pre prefabricate the panels and bring them to site. Okay. And uh, of course, the, the technology was initially Australian. But uh, what my colleagues have done is they have done several improvements to the design. Okay. And uh, as a result of which we are able to so make the fundamental all research is Aussie and the rest of it we have yes, done. Yes, yeah, we have uh, applied it to so that uh, these panels can be also used for the horizontal elements like slabs. Okay. It's not just necessarily the wall panels. Oh, all right, so it can bear weight. It can bear weight on the slabs also, yes. Okay. And uh, this house that you built, what, what does it look like? House house or is it just a blocky... Uh, no, no, it looks like a proper house. It looks like a proper house. So it's got outside. sloping roofs and this, that and the other. Yeah, you way. can design it whichever way you no, want. No, what, what has so been this built? one has a, a open terrace on top. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's more fundamental in yeah. shape. Yeah, it's right now we have uh, intended for using it as a uh, new faculty accommodation, a temporary accommodation. Okay. Oh, but there are people actually using it? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. But that was the idea that you use it for that also. Exactly. And in, in the area of research that you are in, what right. exactly is the specific area that you... Uh, I look at three major aspects of research in concrete technology. One is the use of uh, supplementary cementing materials in concrete. So there's a lot of impact of cement production on the greenhouse gas emission in the world mm. uh, because of which there's increasing demands on reducing the content of cement to produce good quality concrete. So okay. much of this has been achieved by the use of uh, byproducts and waste materials sometimes like fly ash, uh, granulated blast furnace slag. Mm. People are even using sugarcane bagasse. Yes. Uh, and burning it and making ash out of it. And that ash can be also used as a supplementary material. We are doing some work on that also in IIT. Okay. Okay. The other aspect I'm looking at is uh, uh, making concrete durable. That means making it serve for last, long, long, uh, last longer. And uh, how do we actually assess durability in real construction and ensure that what we have put up in the structure is something that is going to stand for a long time. That's something we are also looking at. So all those are real term, real time things. I mean, how, exactly. how will you assess with whether the thing will stand 20 years or 15 years till it, that much time goes by. Yeah, so exactly. So what we are trying to do is uh, monitoring certain properties of the concrete and okay. trying to associate that fun with fundamental scientific models, which could then be used for ah, prediction like of simulation life. of uh, yes. certain things can be done uh, yes. 
to know how it will stand the test correct. of time. Correct. So, do you have uh, commercial applications to to this? Do you, I mean, does IIT benefit from it, or is it a, just uh, something like the country benefits? Well, I think overall the country would benefit. IIT benefits because we are able to get good quality research under this banner. Okay. Uh, so it has a lot of fundamental aspects to it. So the in your kind of department, Lord, how many uh, are involved in this subject? There, there's a group of about five of us who are doing work on uh, cement and concrete. Uh, and okay. Basically, composites, durability, special concretes. Uh, so all all these. So kinds of uh, things. Is, is the department under any kind of pressure from the government to get deliver? You have to find something new. Like I need a discovery, or is it uh, the right way, which is just do it and uh, hope for the best? That's that's probably what the government's take is. Yes, they do support us, uh, and uh, we get good quality funding from the government. But there's really no not much pressure on us, uh, which I guess is uh, the way it should be. Which is the way it should be, uh, and uh, but in spite of that, we should try and produce uh, to the best of our potential, and that's probably something which we are blessed with here. That yeah. we we are given the freedom to do what we want. So do you, do you get people from overseas coming to learn something? From uh, us? We get exchange students. We do. Uh, we do get exchange students. Do we have foreigners coming into IIT? Uh, not in terms in of the regular uh, intake. Of the, no. Well, there are few African students who come in. Okay. And uh, of course, most of the students that we get from foreign countries are uh, on exchange programs for a semester. That's okay. when they come in, yes. All right. So, when we have defense installations, I mean, defense uh, institutions where we get people from Africa coming in training. Right. So, I thought maybe we had something like that where we have X number of seats for people from countries like no. in Africa where they don't have. No, that we, we do consider applications from. Uh, students in Africa also. We, we get one, once in a while a lot of students. Alright Professor, it's been lovely talking to you yeah. and Thank I you. really hope that I come out there and we see something uh, on the Marina Beach where sure. I can go and watch it also. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for calling me.